Welcome back to Rome Boys. On this episode, we're going to talk about the TLM, uh, the longest mile. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, what does that stand for again? <laughs> but I was trying to come up with something funny. I was like, the Latin mile, the total, something. You know, I couldn't come up with something on the fly there. And I was like, what am I talking about? So, anyway. The, the traditional t- Latin mass. Thank you. Yes, 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 that's what it stands for, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a source of uh, talk you know, or controversy in the church today. Mm. Um, so, which is wild because it was it the mass wild. of the ages for fifteen hundred years. You know, like yeah, I, I, I how don't in know. the world so, can it be? How yes. can the how you know all of the saints? Right? Like, how can it be a sense of controversy? It makes right. no sense to right. me. Yeah. Like, we love the saints. Mm-hmm. This is the mass. Yeah. yeah, this is just the well, mass. I think it gets a bad name, or not a bad name. It gets uh, controversial because of the goers. So it's mm. not the mass. The rads. So it's not the mass. No, it's not the mass. No. <laughs> right. No. I, I, matter of fact, okay, so I just personal experience. Um, I haven't – I've gone to a few uh, traditional Latin masses. Uh, there's one in Angelo. We've been to a couple times in the past. Even attended one at uh, the long mass. So there high is a, mass. Uh-huh. The high mass. There's a Catholic church right across the street from Minute Maid Park, mm-hmm. you know, the Astros, the home of the Astros. And so we went to go to mass – before the mall, they got a poster outside the their gate that says "Make it a double header, hit mass, then the game." You know, mm-hmm. so cool. it's awesome. just, it's kind of funny because there's a bunch of people in there with their Astros gear on, <laughs> and right before they go, you know, going to mass in their Astros gear, right, and then right, then they right. go to the game. Used to they would hand out uh, coats because uh, I tried to yeah. go oh, in smart. one time right, right, right. before I was Catholic, mm-hmm. oh, okay. and they were like, and I didn't know what was going on. I was like, well. Yeah. You know, as a Protestant, I was like, well, that's terrible. You won't yeah. even let me in your church because I look like this. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus would let anybody in. I didn't understand that that was Jesus up there right, and I need right, to show right, reverence. Right, right. So, yeah, there are people in there with their Astros gear on. It was funny when during 17 when they won their first World Series, as people were going to the game, they were outside handing out rosaries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Orange and blue rosaries, nice. you know. <laughs> that's cool. Nice. It's pretty funny. I like the colors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course you do. So I attended one there. That was a high mass, and, you know, we made it to the second inning, I think, because it was long. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we ended up being a little late to the mass or yeah. to the to the mass to the ball game. Yeah, but uh, I I, I, I love your priority, Joe. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God first, then baseball. I might have been wearing the my Astros, Astros gear, <laughs> but, yeah. the Astros. Yeah. but I had to make mass first. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you stayed all the way through. Yeah, like we did. Oh yeah, we could have left early. We could have been Judas, but we did. We <laughs> stayed. <early. laughs> Judas, uh, <laughs> first guy to leave mass early. Right. But uh, right. so you know the I don't. I don't I guess to put it bluntly, I don't understand the big deal. Mm-hmm. What, why it's such a big deal? What, which, where do you go to? Because there's yeah. there's two different camps here. You've got your camps that says the Latin Mass is the only Mass, the one, and they won't go to anything but that. Yeah. And then you got the other camp that's just like, who cares? <laughs> I guess I'm in that one. I guess there's, it's like, a, it's mass is a, mass. there's a little bit of an in between or two because there's some, I guess, at least myself, that want yeah. a blend of both the way Vatican II was intending to do, right? Well, I can know? get to that you one. Know? I can <laughs> get to that one. But I guess my favorite meme that I saw here recently uh, before I got off Facebook was uh, there was one that says, you know, Latin mass only. Then below that it said, uh, new mass only. Then below that, it was there was another one, hmm. uh, a different Maronite uh, mass. No, only? it wasn't Maronite. Uh, it was somebody else. I'm gonna have to pull up the meme. But anyway, and then like it showed uh, Mr. Incredible going. Anything. You know that scene in Incredibles two where it was math is math. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't change <laughs> math. Saw, yeah. Math is math. It yeah. says Catholic is Catholic. You can't take math. That's right? where I'm. That's kind of where I'm at. It's uh-huh. Catholic. Yeah, we're all right, Catholic. Right. Right. So it's a source of division. It seems like. It's interesting, and, but it's not the mass. We have all these. It's not the mass. We have all these Eastern right. Catholic churches, and there, I don't feel the division from the Eastern Rite and Western Rite. We know Roman Catholic, no. um, but I, there is that feel of division between TLM and Novus Ordo. But, anyways, um, so at least in my experience, so 45 years old, Catholic my whole life, cradle Catholic, or whatever else, I remember distinctly in college when I was getting into my faith and totus to us, and I was excited about going to churches and everything else. I went to Latin Mass, and there wasn't anything 
weird about it. Like it was great and people went there and it was fine. And, mm. and uh, there wasn't, I guess, rad trads at that point, I guess is what it was. People appreciate the liturgy. They liked it. They went. I enjoyed it. That was good. Uh, and so years go on and we're here doing Rome Boy stuff. And I, I can honestly say as we do social media stuff, the number one group of people that harass Rome Boys is the rad trads, you know. And I'm mm. like, wait a second. These are people that are supposedly Catholic and what's the deal or whatever else. So anyways, long story short, I've been to many type of, many type of um, different Latin masses and it's good and it's beautiful. And I think like, like, like what Joe was saying is the the liturgy is beautiful, but if you if you can't understand it, it's hard to relate. Oh, not, well, yeah. not necessarily used to it or whatever it may be. Yeah. But the the Unfamiliar. reverence is why a lot of people go. I think sure. you know uh, kneeling. I kneel as I, before I receive communion. Love it. Um, you know to be able to have Latin mass parts. That's amazing. That's the way it's supposed to be. This is what the semin- in seminary they taught us. This is what we're supposed to be listening or. Uh, praising the Lord through Latin music, if we can. That, that's mm-hmm. that's the goal. And then ad orientum, where the priest is facing away. So I, again, I agree. I don't know what the big deal is. But um, one thing that Father Joe Krupp brought up, and he, he has a little bit of hesitancy, hesitancy towards a TLM, is because of the feel that they're putting out there towards other people. So there isn't an mm-hmm. emphasis so much on Jesus Christ and a relationship with Jesus Christ and the body of Christ, <laughs> but there's more of this focus on um, you know, where is the tabernacle is, where are we sitting, is my, um, you know, my veil in the, in the in the proper place or whatever else. Um, so I don't know, that's the, kind of the perspective I have. But also, I, I feel, you know, TLM peoples oftentimes can be in that boat of saying our liturgy is better than other liturgies. And you don't really feel mm. that from Novus Ordo. <laughs> Basically, Novus Ordo groups of people are like, yeah, if you're here, you're great. And if you're not here, you're great. You know, that's whatever. You know? And I don't know yeah. if that's that's not better. That's no. not good either. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I, I don't know if I'm making any sense. No, but, totally. I'm you know, following. But tracking, I guess I, I'm yeah. uh, more passionate about it because a lot of people have said hurtful things that are from the TLM side, and maybe not, I shouldn't say that, the rad trad side. And so when you go to a TLM mass, you got to figure out, well, who is on which side? Who is a uniter and who is a divider, yeah. you know? Yeah, and so yeah. if you have a bunch of uniters doing TLM, please don't squash that. You know, that is amazing. And even within the Novus Order, there's a lot of people in the church that are dividers too. So yeah. that's what, and you were saying in the last episode, yeah. it's all about unity, you yeah. know, like, right? I, I hate the labels. Yeah, yes, I agree. I hate yes. yes, and it's you know it's it's kind of like you know people say uh, uh, I've had <laughs> sitting down for you know um, coffee or something and or lunch and and then, then all of a sudden they look at me like wait you're Catholic <laughs> they had no idea right and maybe <laughs> yeah. shame on me they maybe they should know yeah. for that first mm. uh, <clears throat> but uh, and they said well what about the things that you know the Pope has said well I said mm. well. He's <laughs> There's, there's another a whole other episode. episode. <laughs> Man, uh, the list just keeps on coming. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, I just always respond to, to ask them a question and say, well, <clears throat> you're American, right? Are you American because of the president of the yeah, United right. States? Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're like, oh, touche. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And, and it's because of the Constitution and, and the beliefs, the constitutions of the Catholic Church is why I'm Catholic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's what the church teaches and believes is why I'm Catholic. So uh, it is, uh, you know, I never heard anything and, and went to traditional Latin masses, and I just went to mass, and mm-hmm. I talked with the people, and I saw all the kids and the families, and it was just a joy. I saw all the altar boys. I mean, there's 26 of them, yeah, you know. That's nuts. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then the vocations, the numbers, if the numbers don't lie, just look yeah. at the stats. And yeah. so yeah. the numbers of vocations that come out of these places are, mm-hmm. are phenomenal. Uh, <clears throat> and so uh, I didn't know that there was a, a, a disparagement group yeah. in either camp, but I heard it from people that I know – only go to Novus Ordo masses. Mm-hmm. So not to be controversial, mm-hmm. but that's the only time I heard about it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, what is this? <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. I will say... <laughs> you don't spend a whole lot of time on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank goodness. I mean, it's not the best place to get, you know, oh, uh, yeah. uh, oh, God. not to put your finger on the pulse. It's not the right place to put your finger on the pulse. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> wrong artery, guys. Mm-hmm. Wrong vein of information. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> so 
I just, yeah, the whole blanketing of people, like yeah. to just put a, mm-hmm. I mean, to say that everybody right. in Novus Ordo is just terrible. Sure. To say that all bishops sure. and priests aren't sure. bold and authentic. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, you can't do that. I mean, yeah, you're generalizing the whole group over one or two people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, okay, we had, oh, all bishops are bad because that one was bad. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, that ain't fair. Right. Yeah, well, just look at, you know, sex scandals with priests. And right. that, there are people that have left the entire Catholic faith sure. because, well, that or like they didn't like the way the choir was sure. singing. I mean, they'll literally yeah. leave the sure. Catholic Church because of that. Any excuse. Any excuse, right? Well, Whatever. If they leave for those excuses, they weren't there for the right reason. Right. No, but right. they made themselves the Pope, right? Exactly. <laughs> and that's where it's like, guys, stop yeah. all Maybe the rhetoric. Up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you're being led by the wrong spirit. Mm-hmm. Stop it. It's not the truth. Yeah. I guess the hospitality part, um, the welcoming in all t- forms of the liturgy we don't do that very well as catholics you know True. you know like you know feeling welcome feeling like this is you know your home we, yeah we love you that it's like here it is here we are like it or yeah, leave yeah. it. Yeah. and that's kind of like in the in the uh it's almost become a, it's almost come a protestant thing yeah you know hospitality if it's really good hospitality is probably a protestant oh, thing because well, they're it, great at it, it. it shouldn't be that way no you know? it shouldn't yeah. but uh it oftentimes the community though i will say tony like visiting you in kansas mm-hmm. um and just in in uh, Spearville, right? Like mm. just like we go down into the basement, and because mm-hmm. there's basements in Kansas, <laughs> right, right, right. And uh, <laughs> everybody's potlucking like yeah, yeah. constantly. There's mm-hmm. just family and kids and right. that community. Right. Right. I don't know if we just don't do that very well in Texas, or I don't know what. It At is. least not this area, but we can work yeah. on it. We yeah. can all work yeah. on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's and just so we keep hot. to our own. <laughs> too, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, windy hot. or whatever else. <laughs> yeah, weather's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too dry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> but I do want to defend the, the the traditional Latin Mass in the sense it should not be like pushed off into a neighboring parish or in a hall at three sure. thirty in the afternoon. Like you know, you know, like it's. It, yeah. I don't remember these problems during John Paul II and Pope Benedict XVI's pontificate Didn't because have. they encouraged it and they and and yeah. everything was a lot better. Now maybe there was the rad trads there. But um, maybe they were kind of rising up more and, boy, and getting bigger. I don't know. But, and maybe they're I – mean, I, I just fear the times in a traditional Latin Mass, there is those people there that are against the Pope, and they won't call him Pope Francis, and they're against Vatican II, and they won't step into a Catholic church unless it's the traditional Latin Mass. And so what do we do with those I people? With you know, how do we help those people? I would say uh, that's between them and God. True. Like, what are we going to do? What are yeah. we going to do, really? Mm-hmm. Honestly, we're no. going to be charitable. We're going to love them. Are you going to go try to correct them? Yeah. Are you going to, anytime mm-hmm. you're entering an argument, you've lost already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? You, has to, you have to have the foundation yeah. of trust sure, because sure. if you don't, then, right. I mean, we can work right back sure, up the sure, five sure. dysfunctions of a team pyramid. And, uh, <clears throat> and so I, that's why I think if we can be what we expect from, the world Mm -hmm. around us Mm -hmm. like let's have differences Mm -hmm. and let's be able to talk about it Mm -hmm. and let's do it in a way that uh we're being charitable we're being loving that is not controversial (laughs) it's not but i will say that there's a six hour episode on pints with aquinas with jimmy aiken a man i have said many times six hours i've not finished it yet but i'm about Mm -hmm. four and a half hours into it holy yeah and uh, it's taken me months. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but um, but I enjoyed so much of the conversation, if mm. not all of it. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Aiken, I have said on many occasions, is, I believe, potentially the smartest man alive. Definitely. Except for one part of the entire At episode. At least in the Catholic world, for sure. One part. And it's when Jimmy Aiken changed his entire spirit, the whole person of who he is. All he said was he, he honored vindiction. He honored it. <clears throat> and you can go watch the episode. He said, uh, you got exactly what you were asking for. Uh, he was talking about the Monte Proprio uh, from Pope say, Francis. I've heard him say Catholic Answers, yes. Yeah, and he said, you got what you're asking for. Uh, the Pope, he literally claims that Pope Francis was doing it out of vindiction. He literally, he's being vindictive to the people. Oh, oh, you're talking about when he took away When he Latin took mass. away yeah. the Latin Mass and continues to strip yeah. and... and even to a sense, I mean, yeah. he's taken away the mass from people who love the mass, right? Those people that I love think the mass. Right on the whole, you know, you got what you asked for. Because I mean, I'm not defending the Pope, but I think it's a terrible point. Yeah, 
No, no, no. I oh, think you, I, no. I'm saying opposite of what you're saying. So don't take this wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm confused. Now. We, we, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> so what are you uh, saying? <laughs> so this is how it should be done, guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm yeah. kidding. Um, Confuse the other person. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> Lord, help me, please. Jesus, Come Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Um, no, I think that uh, <laughs> I think that to say that is to paint a broad stroke and say that everybody in who attends that mass. Gosh, it might even be the closest parish. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to go yeah. to the closest parish to yeah, you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right support right, your right. deanery. Support your, I mean, yes. live in the local. Sure. Um, so it's it's a really broad stroke. But the reason I say it, the reason I bring it up is because I saw a different side of the man I've never seen before. Mm. And he's so intelligent. Yeah. I was like a child watching my parents argue. Not Matt Fred and Jimmy Aiken. Jimmy Aiken and the situation, the conversation mm. around it. Okay. I thought, man, I just... I thought he was better than that and smarter than that. And Jimmy Aiken, I love you. You'll probably never see this or hear this. <laughs> um, but it he really confused me because mm-hmm. I thought that sound that seemed and felt like a knee jerk response. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you say that it's okay for the Pope to yank something away from an entire group of people who love the mass? You're talking about literally taking that mass away from them. Yeah. And for some people, it's going to make them okay. So maybe they need to become pilgrims and they got to travel extra okay. two hours. Yeah. Now I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah I yeah, just yeah. thought, whoa. I'm Jimmy. trying to get the idea of what he was trying to say. And I think yeah. to that point, uh, looking at it, and like I said, I'm not trying to defend the Pope and what he did. Yeah. I don't think that was the right move. But what it never even came I appreciate from you here. saying that, Jerry. Yeah. The, the people that. Just, that he was trying to correct it wasn't in Germany or something. Uh, it France, wasn't even in the United States. Uh, it was France. That's right. Yeah. It was right, France. Right. They were taking the Latin Mass and they were on the verge of schism. Yeah. And so he sees these two people. You know, I'm thinking as this as a dad. You know, I see my kids fighting over a toy. What am yeah, I going to yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take the toy the away. Toy. I don't yeah. care who was in the right. I'm taking yeah, right. that toy both, away. And sometimes right. they both feel bad. Yeah, it's going on the refrigerator because <laughs> yeah. you guys are fighting over this. One so bad I'm taking apple it can away. run the whole bunch, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Or the so, teacher who disciplines the whole class over one kid. Exactly. Yeah. Right. The one person ruined it for everybody else. So I, yeah. I, I think of it that way. Yeah. Right. You know, Absolutely. So the Pope he sees this division being caused by a certain thing. And he says, well, you know what? The easiest thing to do. And I think Jimmy Aiken was right. I think he, or maybe he didn't say that, where he, he got upset. Yeah. The Pope got mad. Yeah. He's a human being. Yeah. He's he did a guy. say this. He, he has a temper. Yeah. And, and I think he just knee-jerk reaction, fine. You guys are going to argue over this? I'm taking it away. You know, yeah. he, as an angry dad, and I lose my temper with my kids a lot, yeah. that's what I would have done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it the right move? Never act out of anger, right? Never act exactly. Right, right. um, So he was upset. This is my take. Sure, I'm sure. not saying that I, this is. I'm glad what you're happened. speaking on it, Joe. Yeah, yeah. I just see that that's what he was upset. He sees his kids arguing over a toy. Well, not a toy. Right. <laughs> that's yes. my analogy. Yeah. Get, yeah. And he just takes it away. Analogy's was that the right special. thing? Well, I sh- after you calm down, I would think that you, you know, I'm like, okay, and maybe that has, shouldn't have taken he that. He has away. granted, what's the right word? Yeah, yeah exemptions like, to lots of different, like yeah. even yeah, fraternal religion, society, St. Peter, religious right? Religious orders, like, you know, like to, to yeah. continue on. So, right. like, if you have that relationship with them, it seems like it has worked out. Yeah. And so, in individual bishops, if they're encouraging of the Latin Mass, um, they're okay with it, then yep. the, the Mass continues. So, the Pope still allows that. So at least there is that. Now, if he said never again, you cannot you know do this yeah. during my old pontificate. That's another story. I think that's what so. he should. Again, I'm not the Pope. Thank the Lord. Y'all can all thank. <laughs> you all thank. I'm the not the Pope. Yeah, man. <laughs> all of us, right? Amen. But I see, mean, God does give us grace. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's just where my would reaction be. would have been like, okay, he should have came down on the bishop of that. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like, dude, you need to rein in your flock. You know, you're, the guys here in France are going a little out of control with this Latin mass. Yeah, They're yeah, going to yeah. cause a schism here. Yeah. You need to rein it in. Not worldwide. Montu right. proprio. That's me. It, it literally yeah, yeah. means, the Latin literally means of of your own individual making. Yeah. So in, the, in America, it would be an executive order where the president okay. just mm-hmm. does what he wants on his own sure. accord. And sure. so. The, Which I had uh, never heard of it before. Yeah, Montu Proprio, right? Yeah, and Benedict the, and John Paul II, other popes do it. Yeah, I'm asking. They, yeah, there were Montu. Yeah, Montu Proprios all throughout. But have they done them, and how often? Because I, oh, I don't, I don't know. I did look it up what because I'm saying I was curious is almost about feels it. Like yeah. uh, in our presidents, you know, like certain yeah. presidents do exactly. a lot of those, and certain presidents right. don't. You know, yes. like yeah. you know, because when they never heard, heard of yeah. they can't get their way until, until George Bush yeah. actually W. I, okay. I was like, what is this? And then all of a sudden, there was this biggest flurry of executive orders. Now everybody does. Now everybody does. Day one. Yeah. 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 So you set a precedence and. Yeah. Uh, well, just like uh, there's been go. synods mm-hmm. throughout sure. the church mm-hmm. history, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden now mm-hmm. it's like, 
wait, what's going on? Mm-hmm. There's all these synods. And, uh, well, back <clears> to my point on the whole taking the toy away or, or the whole trying to rein it in to basically I think he was trying to prevent division. Yeah. So, by, but I think the, the opposite, opposite happened. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think the opposite know. happened. <laughs> by taking it away, I think it caused more division. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. Uh, now, all of a sudden, you have two groups. You have the Latin mass goers and you have the everybody else, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Well, it, I think to it, me, it just it well, segregated what, them. What That's happens what I'm trying to say. when you take something away from somebody? They want it more, yeah. right? Absence makes the heart sure. grow fonder. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, Especially for the ones so that loved it so much. It's going to, yeah. like, it's going to build up a camp and mm-hmm. to say that yeah. was wrong. You yeah. can't do this. And it, and by in repercussion to that is now they're anti Pope. Yeah. Now they it, just don't like him. I wonder if we did get the liturgy, the way Vatican II won it, how many TLMs would come over. And then I wonder if there was a response, a universal response to those people that are really are in schism <laughs> and say, there is the Pope is not the valid Pope. There is no Vatican II. If there was a response to those people, yeah. you know, like yeah. if you're one of these people, like, I, you know, I think all the TLM people would be like, yeah, like say something to them because they're making us look bad. You yeah. know, that would be great if there was something. Do y'all remember when we had Bishop Athanasius Snyder on? Yes. We were at the upper room. Yeah. And it was raining. Yeah. And we, we asked him, I don't know which one of us asked him, I have to go back and rewatch it, but we asked him. So, what are we supposed to do now? Do we yeah. do we go all Norvis Soda or do we yeah. all Latin? Or do we go yeah. back to the Latin Mass? Mm-hmm. And his response was no. He said we need to integrate the two yeah. to mm-hmm. where you don't see one or the other. You integrate yes. them so much that they become, yeah. you know, yes. it, it's, it's own, mass. its own mm-hmm. mass or whatever. You you kind of not not to say you do away with both of them. I have to go mm-hmm. back and watch and mm-hmm. listen to his exact words. But we put them together. Yeah. To improve the celebration of Mass, maybe to introduce elements of the traditional Mass in the new Mass slowly, so that the both forms will become so close mm. and again powerfully stress the centrality of Christ, the centrality of adoration, the centrality of the supernatural. And this is the way I think to do this. And after listening to that, and then we went to that uh, uh, when we were in Texarkana, mm-hmm. and we went to the, oh, God, for, for the Father Brom, mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. uh-huh. his man, and he the way he did it, the it exact way the Vatican II yeah. said to do yeah, it, yeah. probably the one you saw in and Chicago. Like in Chicago. Chicago. I was yes. like, mm-hmm. that's what he's talking about. Yes, yeah. putting it's, both yeah. of them it's together, doable. you can do is it. exactly what Vatican II prescribed. Yes, mm-hmm. how do we get people on board mm-hmm. to do that? One? Yeah. I mean, yeah, and then you have the opposite. <laughs> you have the, the the clown masses. You know, you oh, have the ones grief. that are just like way off. Yeah, I mean, good night. That there needs to be discipline with that. Yeah, you know, there does. And um, and then I mean, I don't know. I I think Benedict and John Paul II would say. Yes, the blending that is beautiful, and I think they would still encourage TLM like, well, you know, because that wrote, was the mass for a thousand years. How yeah. how long? You know, I don't remember the first yeah, was, Latin mass, but you yeah, know, I think it was fifteen hundred years. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's it, obviously going to be off by a year. It's a too, long but. time. We should not just again squash that. We haven't done that to the Eastern Rite masses. Benedict literally so said it continue. cannot be uh, cannot be taken away. He literally right. wrote it, and yeah. and it, there is it's a mass. It, yeah, uh, <clears throat> and. He said, the Pope, you know, I don't have the authority to take it away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought well, that was pretty awesome. Kind of mm-hmm. putting it in the same boat. I don't have the authority to make a woman a priest. Yeah, or exactly. A deacon. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. You yeah. can't do that. Um, and so, I think the next Pope, it'll, it'll go back. I mean, it's going, yeah. it's going because I think out of pastoral reasons and seeing the division and seeing how it hasn't done a it's, whole lot of good. It's um, a legislative it's, correction. I mean, mm-hmm. it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but Chris Stefanik... Uh, when he was critiquing the uh, Butker speech, uh, he was talking about the TLM. He's talking about the Mass. He said w- the what of the Mass is uh, what we read St. Paul talk about in Corinthians where he's talking about where Christ took bread, broke it, you know, this is my body, this is my blood. That is the what of the Mass. It's mm-hmm. the Eucharist. Yeah, the it's matter. the Eucharist. Yeah. That is the what. That is the matter. The how, mm-hmm. it's been changed over and it over has. and over and over again. The, the bad controversy, whatever you want to call it, coming from the TLM is the rad trads mm-hmm. that are saying it's all that. Mm-hmm. You know, there is no other mass. Mm-hmm. The ones that won't go to any other mass but that one alone. Yeah. Well, now you're saying that we talked about the other rights, uh, the 23, 24 mm-hmm. different rights. Now yeah. you're saying that they're all wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what it's, are you doing? You're making yourself pope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
It's your way. That's why I'm like, guys, yes. what? Do, why, why yeah. yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> we because it, it is about the Eucharist. It, this then is why diff- can't someone like that, that is a, a rad trad, uh, for example, like you know, a family, and they're not only going to go to mass on Sundays. Well, they could go during the week, but because there's no traditional Latin mass in their area, they miss out on receiving the Eucharist seven days a week mm-hmm. because of this particular decision on their part. You know, yeah. and so and you won't. Some of them won't step inside a church. You mean so you won't go to adoration. You won't go see our Lord throughout the week because of this particular thing? Like, no, man, that is, yeah. that's, that's but yeah, wrong. Yeah, the church is not a democracy, right? Like, the authority is sure. handed down uh, through apostolic secession, which, you know, the matter of laying on hands at a priestly ordination, that is the matter. Mm-hmm. And sure. uh, just like the, um, you know, the, uh, the epiclesis and, you know, we, the transubstantiation this is what is physically happening and uh those things can't be removed by our commentary Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know and they're also not made so by our presence Mm -hmm. and so the mass and the eucharist will continue (laughs) and (laughs) all of this is just i'm like i'm not demeaning what we're doing here but it's rhetoric right it's rhetoric yeah and uh, now what can we change? <laughs> yeah, what we can do is we can, and this might sound all hippie, but we can love each other. Well, I was going to say the same thing. Like, yeah, and that's yeah. the feel that I get from a lot of people on that on yes. that side is I don't feel the love. <laughs> I, I want to introduce you to a couple people, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, just the because <clears throat> I stood corrected, mm-hmm. and I thought, whoa, I'm pretty darn understanding. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I needed that correction, that admonishment mm-hmm. of the the church and. And it's teaching and her truth that mm-hmm. will yeah. never, never be broken. Mm-hmm. So it, it's good, man. When, whenever. But again, it's, it's the, it's the. I hate to cut you off. But yeah. I mean, again, it's the people that take it too far that yeah. are ruining it for everybody else. Mm-hmm. And you know, I just want to say to that comment, it's you know, when I walk into H E B, there's one person that doesn't get out of my way in the in the aisle. Everybody else is usually pretty like pretty kind, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Or you know, it's. I think what happens too is. Uh, ah, I was standing, this is going to sound a little pompous. I'm just going to say it. I was standing on the debate stage um, and debating the assistant district attorney uh, in Livingston in Polk County uh, and uh, for an elected position. <clears throat> and my comment to him was, you keep saying everybody's bad people. Like everyone is terrible. Not, not you, Joe, but <laughs> and this is not an analogy for you or you. Uh, but what I said was, no, nah, I'm pretty horrible. No, <laughs> <laughs> when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Mm-hmm. You got one mission, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. yep. go find all the nails and just hammer mm-hmm. them. Uh, <clears throat> and that's just not the way the world works. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. people are they were built for greatness. They were built by God, uh, and we we've, we've all lost our way at some time or another. And I think it's uh, I think it plays into the devil's hand mm-hmm. whenever we fall victim to. Uh, being the Pope ourself <laughs> and saying that you're wrong, you're wrong, you're yeah, wrong. The devil loves Stop division. It. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, yeah. This is this Jesus th- says, I pray you... that you all be one. Yeah. You know? And then the more well, to, the... every schism, think about it, every schism had to deal with authority. Oh or yeah. Against authority. Right. I mean, our first schism uh against you know, when the Orthodox left. They didn't believe the Pope was the head of the church. I mean, I wanted me out of the first, but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean <laughs> Every major, major schism. Yeah, yeah. Well, any schism, even mm. the small ones, even what yeah. we're talking about today. Mm. What is the problem here? Is they don't agree with what the Pope has done here, the, yeah. or the magisterium says this. They don't, or some of them are on. Oops, yeah. some of them are on the scale of well, I don't believe in Vatican II. Mm-hmm. You got the set of a consciousness. Set of a consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well done. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> I, I struggled. <laughs> anyway, you've got these guys. It all boils down to what is Protestantism. They don't agree with the authority. Yeah. So you break and break you know, and break. You start and breaking keep... off, and you start saying that you know that the devil it's wins. Supposed to be this mm-hmm. way. You're Protestant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're protesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. It's authority. It is. In it's the true. end, though, what what does it matter? Like, who is following no. what the church teaches, and yeah. who is following Jesus, and who is leading people to heaven? So, like, if that if the TLM is doing that, <laughs> then we should all be a part of it, mm-hmm. you yeah. know. And if the Novus yeah. Ordo yeah. is like you know off base, and you know like they don't transubstantiation isn't taking place because the yeah. priest is doing something else, and right? What what the heck? Like, you know, yeah. if we're what what would Jesus do? 
You know, yeah. where you would know, he show up? He's, so the local, well, he's, he's the, at everyone. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The local matters. The local, you, yeah. you live in the local, and that is your community. Sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's the only thing yeah. you can positively affect. Not because you go tell them that they're wrong necessarily, yeah. um, but although Paul did in the scripture, I wish I could quote the verse, uh, but he went and he corrected. Uh, well, it, you know uh, what gets thrown he around a lot. Peter. Yeah, what gets thrown a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what gets thrown around a lot is, oh, we're not supposed to judge. Wait, not Peter. Yeah, he corrected Peter. Paul, yeah, yeah, Paul yeah. Corrected oh, Peter. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you got we're not supposed to judge people. We're not supposed to judge people. Well, no, what they said, what Scripture says, is we got to remove the plank from our eye before mm-hmm. we can tell the, yeah, the right. our brother, our brother, mm-hmm. that we can to remove the splinter. Mm-hmm. We can't go to an atheist, and, you know, and just beat down the door because you know. They're not in the church. Yeah. They're not part of the church. But we should be able to go to someone who is in the church and be able to correct them mm. and judge in mm-hmm. a certain way. Say, hey, man, you're, you're off here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you're a little bit off here. We should be able to judge. But the, the key was brother. Or you got to have that relationship. Mm-hmm. You can't just yeah. go to some guy you don't even know and say, man, you're doing this you know, completely the, wrong. The best way to, uh, yeah, have in, a relationship. in my experience, yes, uh, is to, like, to the point, uh, you said, like, you're wrong here. What I would say is, after long dialogue by asking questions, yeah. how do you, you know, how do you get you don't know where they're coming from. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's the, yep. where the relationship comes yep. in. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And you yeah. just ask, like, what, uh, what, what led you to this belief? And getting to know and following them back, you know, to those points to say, okay. I mean, if we go back and look at history, there was a pope that was pope three times because he bought the Pope, yeah. the, he sold the papacy twice yeah, and bought it back. Our problems are bad, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, man. Yeah. But come then, on, guys. But your average Joe Blow in the pews in the United States when that, or I don't know, was the United States even no, around whenever that Pope not, was yeah. doing anything? Yeah. Or, or out in the middle of the farmland of Italy, did he even know what was going on right. at the Vatican? Not a clue. No, not, not a clue. That's a great point. It's, Which is good. Th- infor- exactly. Well, in yeah, information. <laughs> it's readily exactly. available to everybody. And we so know what's everybody going has an opinion. Yep. And is that healthy? It's not. Yeah, like no. you, you jump, be unplugged. Yeah, let's get, jump off social media. Let's get back know. to the basics. Yeah, follow exactly. the Great Commission. <laughs> yeah, you know, absolutely. Regardless of whatever church, as long as it's a Catholic church, you know, follow the Great Commission. Yeah. Yep. Lead your family to holiness. You know, get yourself to heaven. You know, stay close mm. to the sacraments. Done. Right. Yep. <laughs> you know, I'll get on a soapbox. Well, not a soapbox. My opinion here on some of this. You hear the word get thrown out a lot. Oh, this the liturgy is just so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I'm a nuts and bolts guy, and I don't get it. My wife is beautiful. My kids are beautiful. I walk into a building. It's like, okay, this is nice. You know, I walked into the Vatican. Wow, this is something. This is this is great. Was it beautiful? For me, you know, like I said, nuts and bolts guy. I can plow my field, go throughout the whole day, get through plowing, and look back. Wow, that was beautiful. Or I can watch a double play. You know, a guy throwing it shortstop. Tosses it to second, and he throws it to first. Wow, that was a beautiful play. Why do we use that word so much, beautiful, when it comes to, like, liturgies and stuff like that? I, for me, it's it's a job well done, hmm. right? A job well done, that's beautiful. Looking at the Vatican, all the man hours. And yeah, the, the job detail, of it. Detail, yeah. the job of it, that's beautiful. Uh-huh. You know, what went, into, what, in, what went into making it, that's beautiful. So I think for, like, even the Norma Sordo, the Latin Mass, the Byzantine, whatever mm-hmm. it is, if we are putting ourselves out there in there, in the mass, if we're putting ourselves into the mass and doing the best job we can mm. at whatever mass it is, that's beautiful. Yeah, right. right. That's what should be done. We shouldn't be focusing on individual. so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't be so much, so focused on what everybody else is doing. Mm-hmm. What, uh, Bishop, How are we doing Bishop it? Barron yeah. uh, talks about the, uh, the transcendentals, uh, mm-hmm. the good, the true, and the beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's how we experience God. And that's how he reveals himself to us. And I, mm-hmm. I appreciate your approach. I mean, it's very much a, a Benedictine look mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. at the work and knowing. Way to go, that, ben. Yeah, <laughs> and and James. I mean, your 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 dad's name right. uh, <clears throat> talks about you know without works your faith is dead. I mean, yeah. it's mm-hmm. yeah. you know you have to have the works. Uh, mm-hmm. You you work out your salvation through fear and trembling, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, look, I even I went to Salt Lake City. Uh, Utah, and I just saw the work that those uh, that the Mormons did mm-hmm. on their temple. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is look at just sometime look at the temples around the world, mm-hmm. and you think about my goodness, 
the common good that those people were striving for. Yeah. There is beauty in all these things. And Bishop Barron does such a great job of talking about it because there's beauty in other religions. And sure. Pope Francis actually talked about that. Uh, and so people are, you know, they get real controversial to say, oh, he, you know, all you can get to God through all religions. Well, there are, there are elements of this. Mm-hmm. And so I think when you look at uh, the, the conversation around the traditional Latin Mass, the Novus Ordo Mass, uh, you see truth and beauty. Um, and, and so those are the things that we should be drawn into, mm-hmm. the true truth, because yeah. there is the devil who twists the truth. Sure. Mm-hmm. And so we can take something like uh, procreation. Mm-hmm. And sure. a woman can be beautiful, mm-hmm. but if she ain't your wife, yeah. you know, right. then it's not true. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's always nuance to uh, all the things that it just frustrates me so much whenever people blanket it. And it's like, man, I'm exhausted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here goes those labels again. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I don't, I, I'm tired of the conversation. I don't want to be in the conversation. I want to be the peasant in the field that says, it's the mass I go to. This is the family that I love and support. Mm-hmm. Um, we should be more, more focused on doing our job better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's exhausting enough. Yeah, <laughs> there's plenty of work And that there. includes how we worship. We should mm-hmm. be more focused on how we personally worship than, mm-hmm. you know, like, again, we talked about, was it last episode or whatever, about how we get asked the question a lot of how do we bring our fallen away yeah. kids back to church? They've gone to the feel good church. How do we mm-hmm. bring them back to the Catholic church? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have right done now, this. Right now, dude, the young ones want the truth. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I maybe think every generation is young once everybody, the truth, right? yeah, it's yeah. gonna always be. Maybe I shouldn't have done this, but one one mass, I stopped and I just started looking around. Nobody looked happy to be there. Mm. Mm. This was a Sunday morning mass. Mm-hmm. I get it. Maybe people were tired. Maybe it was even a Saturday night mass. I think I've done this more than once. Before I started looking around at the faces of the people in the pews, nobody looked Where's happy the to joy? be there. Mm-hmm. No yeah. wonder people are going to the to the ha- feel good yeah. happy churches, right? It's because. Nobody Although, there looks happy to be the there. In the liturgy, it is a ritual. It's something sure, that's passed it's, down it's, to us, and it, it's, it's not main intention is not to like bring happiness and entertainment. Yeah. You know, because it's not about us. Yeah, right. it's not right. supposed to but be about us. But if you're there us. and you're worshiping God, yeah. yeah. He, but if we want, you have that, out. you might have that face of yeah. reverence and like yeah. you, know, you know. But we should have the joy of the Lord. True. Yeah. You know, we're in Mass. He's if we truly believe he's up there, he's there with us. Why aren't we more happy? You uh, should be able to hear that in the responses, in the singing, yeah, and then you know, of, turning to your yeah. neighbor, the kiss of peace, and everything else. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Thank Father God, Michael O'Connor yeah. at St. Thomas Aquinas, <laughs> except with your wife, <laughs> uh, in College Station, uh, which is where I came into the church. He's he's English and it's, mm. you know strong English accent, uh, uh, wonderful priest. But he said, you know. Uh, if I was standing up here handing out lottery tickets and every one oh, of yeah. them was a winner, mm. think about it. And he made a stop and think, I want all of you to think about if you won the lottery right now, go. And, and he sat there and made us think about it. And it's like, okay, this is money. This is kind of mm. crazy. So he's like, all right, now all the controversies out of your head. I want you to think about it again. What could you do for the world? Mm. Well, you know, what could you do for your family? What would it do for you? Mm. And he said, this is far beyond what the lottery could ever bring you. Yeah. Yes. And he said, multiply whatever you just experienced by a thousand mm-hmm. and then put another hundred on top of it, you know, and yeah. I'm oh, handing out the, 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 the creator, the savior yeah. of the world. I'm blown away how, I mean, even if it, the, the parish is five or 6% of a parish is full of evangelizers, I'm blown away how so few people take advantage of receiving the Eucharist. For, for mm. example, like the mass attendance on a forgiven Sunday, but even the daily mass, it's very few. There's 10 people that show up and they're mostly old ladies, you know? Yeah. And so it's very, it's hard for me to go because I'm like, wow, I'm the youngest person here consistently all the time and I am not young. You know, mm. like if we have that outlook that is really the savior of the world, oh my gosh, he's here. Why are we not there mm. more often? Mm. Yeah. Regardless of TLM or Novus Order, like I God is there, and it's Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. We should be on our knees receiving Him. Your example, Tony, I, and I'm not no. just trying to like uh, prop you up here. Your example does draw me more, and whether I go or not, um, it is a nagging voice. Your presence in daily mass as a mm. daily communicant yeah. is a 
is a positive nagging voice in my heart. Sorry, it's nagging. <laughs> it's nagging to these it. people anywhere. <laughs> well, uh, there's a lot of good. There's a lot of good mamas out there that have that have brought people uh, to their knees because they know mom wants what's best for them, and so <laughs> now, men nag too. Um, yeah. But no, it's I mean, true. Like, well, Your presence on to the farmers. It's raining outside. They're not going to do any farming. Why aren't they at church? Yeah. I'm just like, come on, guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think I'm t- this is a local thing. You yeah, know? Right. whatever sure. else. You know, they're working in the shop, working you know? on there. Oh, yeah. Someone gets a raise. See boots. Someone, you know, gets, gotta, someone gets a raise. Why are they not mass giving thanks? At least that yeah. one day on a Tuesday. You right. know, I mean, I mean, it's a it's a very valid. I don't know. I mean, people are busy. People are busy. We're chasing kids. We're chasing our jobs, careers, whatever it is. But yeah, we should be able to carve out. One. You get alarms for everything else in your phone, mm. and you know you should be able to carve out thirty minutes because mm. most daily masses are thirty minutes. Yeah, it depends 30, where you go. Yeah, <laughs> thirty to forty minutes. You should yeah. be able. To it's carve interesting. Out some time. Uh, I work from home, but when I when I went to um, drove thirty minutes to San Angelo every day, um, I'd go to mass. Yeah, it's almost cool, every it's day. Convenient. Yeah, there's yeah. More times available. And well, it was yeah by myself. I wasn't leaving mm. my kids, sure, and I work from sure, home. You'd yeah, think yeah. it'd be even easier. Mm. I could take my kids, you know, Not they're homeschooled. And, yeah, sure. But yeah, somebody's mm-hmm. sleeping, somebody's crying. Melissa's mm-hmm. gone. You know what? Life is busy. Mm. Um, but you got stories that you hear, like from Scott Hahn talking about when he came into the church, Rome Sweet Home, and he went down to the basement yeah. chapel expecting nobody to be there, mm. and he sat in the back. And then right as the bells ring, here comes all these people, and it's full. Mm. You know, on a <laughs> yep. daily, these are businessmen, lawyers. Doctors, whatever, and they find it does happen. You got to yeah. carve out the time. definitely space, yeah. places like every you know, time I just in Steubenville. I mean, those are on fire places, you know. Yeah. yeah, you take me back to 2007 every time I hear that <laughs> because that's when I was coming into the church and yeah. came in 2008. And uh, but it's crazy the the vivid imagery of you know Scott Hahn telling that story. Yeah, it's it's awesome because he was also down in the basement and the phone rang, <laughs> um, and he went and answered it. Uh, mm, or I don't remember this? It, it was. Um, uh, he, he, or he went and you, uh, he went and he walked by a payphone and it rang, and it was someone calling to find him to tell him that his wife was having a baby. Oh, oh. Kimberly. Yeah, I remember. And it was story. it was totally random. It was like my goodness, and I may have messed up the story, but it was to yeah. that effect for mm-hmm. sure. It's like, uh, where are you? Yeah, this was before Life Three Sixty. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing in that chapel? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but you know, <clears throat> so. I love how we just talked about family and mm-hmm. about uh, the daily mess of life mm-hmm. and talking about the mass, sure. whether it be, you know. Um, I guess that's what it is. I mean, we are, we're or, all supposed to be one family, and then yet there's this division, and we're causing the division. If, if, the mass isn't causing the division. Right, Dude, right. If, the, we think, are. if the cell phone wouldn't have, yes, I agree. If the cell phone wouldn't exist, if internet wouldn't exist, would there ever yeah. even been a Monte Proprio uh, mm. on the topic? I don't. Uh, I don't mm. disagree. I think you're right. Would we have ever heard about it, even if there was? Yeah. One. If we didn't, so should we chuck these things? In? <laughs> yes, we should. <laughs> At times yeah. you feel like it, don't you? Yeah. 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 Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I'll often think about what would the sacrifice be. Okay, I had a heart attack. Well, God's going to call me when He calls me. Yeah. Is it the cell phone that's going to save me? No, it's God. Mm-hmm. And it's you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but I had that com- a conversation with the guy who had that about not wearing a seatbelt. He goes, well, if it's my time, it's my time. Yeah. I said, what if you survive? <laughs> His eyes got huge. He was like, well, I didn't thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a broke back, broke neck. You sure you want to go through all yeah, that? He goes, really? I hadn't really thought about that Click. one. Good point. <laughs> yeah. This is where my friend Mubashir Cameron and I always uh, come together. Uh, he's traditional Muslim. Obviously, I'm Catholic. Yeah. And I quote the Quran, uh, which uh, – is kind of controversial. People are like, what the heck are you doing? Dude? Yeah. <laughs> like, this yeah. is crazy. But it says, tie up your camel and leave the rest of God. Cause mm. man walked in the grocery store yeah. uh, right. or the market store. And he's like, Hey man, you need to tie up your camel. He's going to leave. And he's like, nah, God takes care of me. Mm. Okay. Comes back out and his camel's gone. Yeah. yeah, right? yeah. You should have tied him up, man. You yeah. had the will. The guy gave you the yeah. intellect. Yeah. Um, so you got to do your part. Yeah, yes. The guy in the flood that ends up on his roof. Yeah. <laughs> I, sent yeah, you a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I sent you a guy. I sent you your neighbor. <laughs> boat, I sent the guy in a I boat. A helicopter. I sent a helicopter. Why didn't you get in? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's on you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's all on you. That was fun. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, I appreciate the dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Sincerely. I, mean, yeah, yeah. I, I hope hate... you guys do the same. Mm-hmm. And you know yeah. what? I've heard a lot of times uh, because I think we've mentioned it and folks that listen to our show god bless you thank you yeah. uh, sorry but they've said I, I had 
I had no idea what what is this Matu proprio thing because we've mentioned yeah, this concept right, right, before. Right. It and just like, doesn't come, come across. What their is desk? this yeah. traditional <laughs> Latin mass thing? You know, and they you know they go to mass and they don't know the difference, and yeah. so uh, I think yep. there's some beauty to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, simplicity. I, mean, I don't want to say nice. ignorance is bliss. Yeah, I, you it know, really is though. It, yeah, times. you wonder. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes it is. Yeah. It's our job though to go evangelize yeah. the world, not to say that, you know traditional or novus ordo. I'm saying right is a big part of that. Yeah, yeah. I guess the takeaway from all of this is guys. Quit taking yourself so seriously. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Quit taking yourself yeah. so seriously. Work on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Work on you doing the best you can. Yeah. And the Eucharist is the Eucharist. The only thing you have Don't control Don't deny yourself. Yeah. 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 Don't deny yourself. Be a sower of unity versus disunity. Yeah. Amen. Let's be unified. Good. Well, okay. Dang. I was going to end it, but now i got to jump on this one. <laughs> Are right, you talking about John 17? I think it's 11, mm-hmm. where he, he, Jesus actually prays. Pray that you all that be we one. all be one, like you, me and the Father are one, so that the world will know that you sent me. Yeah. The world is in chaos because it needs Jesus the world doesn't ever. know that Jesus was sent. Why? Because we're not unified. Yeah. Yeah. We are so divided, and we do it to ourselves, and the government does it too, because that's how they stay And in it's power. his job <laughs> to <Sorry>. separate <laughs> the sheep. Yeah. You know, uh, the sheep on the right and the goats on the left. Exactly. Yeah. Be faithful. Shut up and sit down. No, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get on your knees and pray more often. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So All in right. the meantime. Yeah, be bold. Be real. Be Catholic. God, God bless. bless.